beautiful bubbles welcome back to the channel it's your girl felicia and in today's video we're going to be doing encapsulated dry flowers so right now i'm going to be using my practice hand because my clients like to be more natural and I, it's the only time i get to do dramatic because i'm a fake hand so i'm using the nails that i got on the website for the practice hand what you're going to do is act as if that was the actual natural nails on the fingers you're going to file uh, the fingers down so you can prep it for the fake nail as well as file the top of the natural nail plate so that way you remove any dead um, extra skin cells as well as um, the shine for some reason I lost the clips I don't know why um, of me putting the tips on and prepping the nail so you're just going to put the tips on as well as prep the nail you're going to use the young nails primer you're going to do two coats of that as well as a ph bond dehydrator um you would do that right after you do the whole nails and shape them out and file them but again that clip got lost so i'm so sorry i will in hopefully if god's willing in the next video definitely be able to show you how to do that so right now I'm going to show you, since I noticed that it was lost, is the, um, a th I did a thin layer of, what is this, um, Young Nails Core Clear on each of the nails. That way, in case she wants to change her nail color later, her color acrylic, you will be able to change it when you shave it down to that um, clear cut. So for the acrylic color, acrylic color, God, I can't talk, I'm using is from valentino beauty pure and it is the color bad and bougie it is like literally my favorite cover co cover powder right now at the moment so i really um i wish i would have left it as an ombre like i you can kind of see here but i did a v which i really regret honestly because i think it would have been prettier but it is what it is you live and learn and i'm learning with you guys i'm like a beginner self taught so this is kind of my my journey right now <laughs> so once you've did a thick amount a thick enough amount of um, beads onto your nail you're going to carve it out with your brush to make your shape and i don't know i think it was a monomer i was using that day but like i was really struggling um to get what i need to do like this one came out good but the next clip you're going to see was not good actually see that i was struggling again i think as a monomer i did since then change it and um i don't know i'm still in the market of trying to find the best best solution but i, I can't i haven't found one that i'm like obsessed with i know everyone's talking about the young nails so i do i just did buy it i just haven't used it yet i want to finish what i do have in my um, product but again you see that i'm struggling so what i did was i what did i do i'm going to use a cutting tool to do this so i'm just going to take an exacto knife and i'm going to carve it out and what you're going to the best way honestly is to dip it into clear acrylic powder first because you'll be able to cut through the shape you want if you don't do it this way it gets stuck to the knife and it becomes a hot mess so you see it's like a perfect v when you do it this way see and then you just cut it and pull it 
I wish I would have just, like I said, either left it ombre or just did like a way deeper V. Um, I think I made the V too short, too small. It should have been even deeper. But then again, I wanted to space for my dry flowers. So that's why I feel like the ombre would have been way better. But again, I'm learning too. <laughs> So for my dry flowers, I got this from Amazon. They're really expensive. I mean, 15 bucks for like these little amount of flowers is a lot. So I'm going to be using a mixture of blue, purple, I mean, sorry, blue, pink, and yellow. And I'm going to use leaves and these chunkier leaves. I'm going to cut them up a little bit. And what you're going to do is wet the acrylic a little bit with your monomer first. And make sure your brush is wet. You're going to pick up the flowers and just put them where you want. I didn't have any rhyme or reason what I wanted to do. And then as I did this finger, I wanted to do every other nail with the blue flowers to give it some kind of cohesive look. You do have to press them down with your finger. Make their make sure that they're really like stuck onto the actual nail. Because uh, if not, if there's any kind of lifting and you encapsulate it, you will shave it off and it's not gonna look cute. So just really make sure as you see, I'm pressing it down. Then I'm gonna go back in with that core clear and I'm gonna do a very thick layer, but I'm gonna make sure that my brush is really wet so that I have a very wet bead so that it like kind of looks runny as you see here so that way it just kind of falls down itself to the end of the nail and you i don't have to do as much work make sure that you're always cleaning the sides off side wall to side wall because if you don't um that will stay like that and you will have such a harder time filing the nail after to get that shape back so just make it easier in your life um i did three beads and I also blended it upwards towards that bad and bougie color. And then I capped the bad and bougie color. So the whole nail gets color um, clear acrylic on it. So that way when you go to file and buff, you don't lose the color of anything. Okay. again like i show you make sure you just wet it kind of what that does and the reason i wet it is it makes the layer of clear acrylic that you already have there sticky so it'll stick a little bit better if you don't and you skip that step it, um you could put a little bit of clear acrylic like a dot of it and put it on top but i don't like to do that because it tends to make the nail very bulky fat if that makes sense and you have to shave a lot more and i just like to be a little easier on top of those flowers because like i said if you don't it's too thin and any of that flower is showing through it will be shaved off
Okay, so right here you're going to be clicking the nails, um, tapping. Uh, I can't even talk. You're going to make sure you tap them to hear the clicking. That means that the acrylic is actually dried. If you don't hear the acrylic, it means it's not dry. And if you try to file it like you see me doing here, it will be like getting stuck to file and it messes up. So just make sure you hear that noise. So what I like to do is take a 100 slash 180 nail file, which I haven't found that either, the perfect one or whatever. But I will eventually. <laughs> so what you do is you file straight up. Um, make sure that you don't bend it because if you bend it too much, what happens is you start to go more of a coffin shape. And I'm doing a taper squared. So I do it straight and then I move it to the sides and I file it that way as well. So again, straight up to the nail and that will ensure a perfectly straight line. If you like I said, no bending. And I also do it straight down horizontally. Right? Or is that really horizontally? So that way it gives you that perfect, sharp, crisp square edge. Doing that on all the going to go in with a small torch um nail carbide bit and this is for the cuticle so you can go safely around the cuticles without hurting your client but also shaving down the bulk you want it to get as natural um, as natural sorry as close to the cuticle as possible and thin it out so that way if you see a little bit of the natural nail plate you know that you've actually closed it correctly so that way you have no lifting if it's done in properly trust me your nails will pop off like within a week and a half so you want to try to the goal is to make their nails last as long as they possibly can until they want to come for their next visit and this one is my favorite bit for the cuticles it since it's rounded at the tip again i can get as close to her cuticle as possible without hurting my client and being able to tap it off then I'm going in with a fine carbine bit. This one is, um, what is this called? I forget, but I'll link it down below. And what I'm going to be doing is lightly shaving off the bulk. Let your drill bit do the work. Do not put too much pressure on it because if you're on the nail and you're putting too much pressure, it will burn your client's finger nail underneath. She'll feel like a hot burning sensation and it's uncomfortable and you don't want that you want them to come back to you <laughs> and you want to take your fingers and you want to run it across to make sure you don't feel any lumps and bumps and you just keep going from doing that to the rest Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mandrel um, bit as well as the sand zebra sanding band. I'll again link that down below. And I'm going to press it against the edges so that I can take off whatever bulk is underneath the nails as well as ensure a perfect crisp straight nail. And I also do it on, in the bottom of where this 
little square pieces so that we get a perfect c curve so it doesn't look so flat underneath it looks more rounded when you look in different dimensions so again i'm just pulling it and pushing it around to debunk that Then I'm also doing it on top lightly at um, the speed I'm using is about 7,000 RPM, 7 to 8,000 RPMs. And I'm just shaving the tops just to make sure that I get every little lump and bump that I didn't get with my other carbine bit. And once I've done that, then I go and I file once more because I'm just so extra. I want to make sure this thing is so perfect that it's just beautiful on every side. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the Young Nails um, 180 buffer. And what that's gonna do is remove any scratches that was left over from the carbine bit to give it a smooth application. If you don't do this and you skip your step, when you apply your top coat, it's going to look funky. <laughs> Then I'm going to take my Young Nails Swipe to clean off the nails of all that dust and debris so that way I can prep it for my top coat. For a top coat, I'm using my Valentino uh, Beauty Pure. It smells like burning hair but works amazing, right, if that makes sense. So if you're sensitive to smell, you might not like this. Anyways, what you're, since you put the top coat, it's going to show how clear and crystal clear this acrylic is and you can see the flowers at its best. So once you do that, you're gonna cure it in the um, lamp for 60 seconds. Sorry if you hear cursing in the background. <laughs> and once you've done that to every single one of your nails, you're going to do it underneath as well to ensure that it is crystal clear on all ways of the nail. And then again, cure that for 60 seconds. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. I love you guys. Bye, Bellas.